here with our father from Poland. Where in Poland are you from? From Poland. Uh, we are from the Diocese of Krakow. So it's the Diocese of uh, Karol Wojtyła, John Paul uh, II. And uh, some people of us, I mean the eighth one, uh, are from Niegowicz. This is the first uh, parish of uh, Karol Wojtyła, such right. like a priest. Right. Uh, the gr grace of God uh, made this, then uh, I'm uh, there like a uh, uh, priest yeah. uh, in the same place. And it's, uh, it's uh, very, uh, I'm very happy to be today here in this place. And I think for the and other people too, mm -hmm. uh, for someone of there, uh, it's the first time in Rome, in Vatican, so it's a very um, wonderful and powerful uh, sure. living experience, yeah. yes. Could you tell us about today? What was it like being here today? Uh, I'm, uh, it was amazing. Um, it was the first time uh, in Italy, in Rome. Um, yeah, the, first expression, uh, the first expression was um, um, because we, we couldn't see the, 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 the the, the, altar? the altar, yeah. So it was um, difficult, but I mean, when we are here now, so it's really, um, it's really amazing, and I'm so happy to be here. Where were you standing? Were you all way down the? No, we be. Um, we, it was in. Um, well, now we are staying. The, I mean, for the mass, where were you? Staying? For the mass. Uh, for the on mass, the end it was of the conciliation. Yeah. The yeah. Via de la conciliation. Uh, on the. Did you cross? Were you on the other side of the river, the Tiber? Or? No, no, no. We were on this side of the Tiber, uh, and there was a lot of people. It was uh, very cold. Did you have a? Did you have a? Did you have any special experience this whole trip, where you felt like maybe God spoke to you or powerful for you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I'm. Um, I went for the for the um, pilgrim uh, to pray for um, some intention very important for me and I think yeah yes I think yeah I I feel God more um, I don't know how to say it. I feel like God is with me um, but yeah I think so What did John Paul mean to Poland I don't know <laughs> and for me it's like a father like um, like a father like a brother like a um, teacher it's, uh, it's, um, it's, it's everything for me, actually, yeah. I started this uh, studying in seminary in uh, 2005. It was a year of uh, his death. Uh, and I think that uh, this, uh, and that, that his death, uh, and uh, everything with this, was is connecting with this, uh, lived in uh, me and in my uh, friends who are the priests too with me uh, and for us it's a we can say it's a task uh, that we have to make this uh, his lived his uh, um, everything what he uh, talked uh, to us what's your favorite John Paul story maybe that you've heard being in his parish, in his city? And in our parish. In our parish he was only 13 months, uh, like, a, like a priest, uh, vicarious. Uh, but uh, the people uh, in our parish, uh, the old one people who remembered uh, him, uh, they talked that uh, he was um, a person who always um, looks uh, look for the people he walked uh, through the village through the parish uh, in uh, for example in a stable in, in the uh, for the, to the houses and he wanted to talk to meet the people to uh, uh, because uh, in this simple life uh, he learned uh, and uh, he heard what the peoples are, uh, what the peoples uh, have in uh, their hearts. Mm. And I think this is, uh, this is the task for us, like a priest, to be with the people in this uh, um, simply, they, uh, we can say homework. Right, right, right. 
Well, thank you so much uh, for talking with us. Okay, thank you very much and everything good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>